I mean, it's seemingly on his way to a world title. This time last year, he was preparing for a fight with Scotland's Willie Limond. Limond gave Khan probably the toughest fight to date, putting the Olympic medalist down in round six before being stopped two rounds later. Limond was due to fight Graham Earl for the IBO Intercontinental title tomorrow night until Earl pulled out with an injury. Limond, though, remains philosophical. Me and Graham really need to fight. We're going down this route with the IBO. I fight him for the defence of my IBO and a continental title, and it's an eliminator for the main IBO title. So it, it will get rescheduled. It's just a wee bit frustrating, obviously, for me and Graham. He's trained hard, I've, I've trained hard, and it's one of these things, just picked up an injury can happen. But it is, it's, it's even more frustrating, I suppose, when you're ready, you're ready to fight. You've put the eight weeks out of work in, and uh, just basically, I'm not saying it's for nothing, but there's, there's no end product to know. I need to wait. To the next show. A lot was made, certainly after the can fight, the mm -hmm. camera maybe on his, his way down. Is, it, is that the way you look at it? No, when I saw the can fight, he just got caught, he got caught early and got caught cold basically. But I've watched his other fights when he's fought, when he beat Romanov, beat him well, Kevin Bennett, Bobby Vanzi, these other guys. He had a good fight with Michael Katsidis, which was a hard fight, but to be fair, I was expecting a tough fight. I wasn't expecting that grey medal. The one I trained for was the one that beat. Uh, Yuri Romanov, so I was expecting a tough 12 hard round fight. In terms of your own career, are you able to, to look beyond this, this Graham Earl fight? And, and if you do, you know, what, what does the future hold for you? Well, I don't like looking beyond the next fight. <clears throat> the guy in front of me is Graham Earl. Uh, if I beat Graham Earl, then that's me nominated to fight for the, the main IBO title. This is something that I, I never even thought would happen, to be fair. It's, it's kind of blindside to me, so I've got to grab this opportunity with both hands and, and, and make the most of it. Just to fight for the world title is a, is, a, is a privilege, so we'll see what happens. But if I beat Graham, then fight for the main title, brilliant. A lot's been spoken about a rematch with Khan. Something you'd relish? Of course. I mean, Khan's a good fighter. Of course, I'd fight him again. It's not something that, uh, when, when I fought him, it was a good fight. Things happen. But I'd like to fight him again. I, if, if the opportunity came up, of course, I'd fight him again. I feel I'm improving. I feel I'm getting better every fight. I watched Amir Khan's last fights. Ah, he's, he's, he's done well. But the guys he's been fighting, they fought Gary Sinclair, good fighter, but there's no firing back as much. I would have a go with Amir Khan. I wouldn't go and just go into a shell and no throw any punches. Uh, <clears throat> he's looked good, to be fair, and I think, to be honest, he has improved a bit. Willie LeMond, Amir Khan again, potentially. Well, you know, in all fairness, had he had, he had, had, he had Graham Merle, well, and if he gets a fight with some sort of leading lightweight, of course he should have Amir again. Amir wants to get him out of his head, and he wants to get back inside Amir's head. Fantastic fight for late this year.